Harry, you touched on this a bit, but I guess the, qu the question I would have is whether some of these issues now are going to be non-issues a couple years down the road once we have more developed large language models, once there's more information out there. Uh, what, do you, what do you all think of this? Well, I think that being able to do, say, the dream that people have with RAG systems, in other words, have enterprise data, ask a question, get the right answer in terms of retrieval will be possible and will naturally grow as these things evolve. I don't see uh, the wisdom part or the actual reasoning part uh, happening you know, anytime soon. I think in a strict mathematical context, they've been shown to be able to do some reasoning, some problem solving. But I don't think it would be something you'd want to trust uh, with some, any kind of fiduciary responsibility. Well, I, just one example on, on the RAG still, so we kind of hacked RAG a bit uh, using, we call it RAGXC RAG, and, and don't underestimate the, the power of good old style deterministic methods. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, use a regular expression to just find the right chunks. You don't need the vector database, any of those, if you do it on a small scale and specific use cases. That obviously doesn't work at a large scale, but uh, there are some small scale solutions available that are not so heavy on AI. Uh, I personally think that um, the issues that we are bringing up with, um, you know, difficulties in parsing multimodal types of data and putting in the rack, yes, that exists today, but I think that is an amazing uh, place for innovation to actually happen within the next few years. So that, that uh, extracting that type of data from those multimodal type of settings becomes ultimately a, a non-issue. And I look forward to see what Silicon Valley can come up with that within the next, uh, next few, few years. Um, my opinion is like, um, I feel like a small language model will start uh, taking bigger space because now there is a cost angle to it, there is an environment lang angle to it uh, of training and running large language model. Um, and also it's like, you know, all these products which is started as 100% AI product and we are building AI, everything is AI driven right now. I feel um, in coming years it will be much more integrated. And I think I just, you know, what the, what the whole panel we all agree to is, um, and when I say integrators, like the AI use cases, the AI aspect, that will be taken care of by AI. Rest of it, it will be like simple, it could be pure Python code, it could be pure APIs. So we, we would come AI as a more, you know, integrated in this space when we speak about a product development. Also, when we talk about the workflows and day-to-day -day life of an enterprise, I feel like the AI agents will also have those a smaller place. Uh, but in future, we would see like, you know, how we see the large language model as a big chunk, it will be much more broken down. And if I have to visualize, it will be just a small pieces integrated in our life. And just doing all those, what we call as expertise on your fingertips that we will all have. 